Hi, it's Frank Licata from Man Lake. And today we're gonna to show you how to install a package. A lot of brand new beekeepers think this is a very daunting task and they're not sure what to do. It's actually very simple. I'm gonna take you through the steps. All we need are a few things. We need a hive tool. We need a spray bottle, a clean spray bottle, new spray bottle mixed one part sugar, one part water. And generally, since you're a brand new beekeeper, you're not gonna have drawn comb. You need something to suspend that queen cage from that frame. So with that, we're gonna get started. Now, these bees have been in this, this cage. This is a wooden cage. You can also get a plastic bee bus. This one happens to be a wooden bus. These bees have been in this cage for several days. So they're kind of penned up in there. They haven't been able to do a cleansing flight. They do have a can of syrup on the top there that's suspended. And next to that syrup is hanging our queen. Those bees are clustered around the queen. So the steps we're gonna take is we're gonna spray this down with syrup to get those bees to not only fill their stomachs with that uh, sugar water, so they're less apt to fly, but it's also gonna get them a little sticky on their wings and their body. They're not gonna fly around so much. They're gonna stay right here. So what you generally do is we're gonna spray both sides. Oh, probably six, seven, eight spritzes on each side. And because the queen is still suspended in here, we don't wanna injure her. We're gonna give just a gentle tap down to knock those bees down. And we're gonna do it again, spray them again. When it's warm weather like this, like it is now, it's fine to give them a liberal spray. If it's very cold when you have to be installing your packages, you might wanna be careful about not over spraying them and chilling them. So we've got these bees sprayed down. We're gonna get ready to dump in the hive. To prepare for these bees, we gotta do a couple of things. We've gotta remove four frames out of here to give us room to dump our bees in. And we're gonna to have to get the queen out and suspend her in this cage. Now these bees are gonna be fairly docile. Like I said, this is not their hive. They're not gonna be defensive about it. So I'm not wearing a veil or gloves today, but if you feel comfortable wearing a veil and gloves, if that's what makes you more comfortable, do it. Do whatever you feel good about when you're putting your bees in. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. Wear what makes you comfortable. So the first thing we gotta do is get this syrup can out of here. Now those bees, you can see they're not even really trying to come out of here. I'm gonna reach in here and pull out my queen. I'm just gonna set this back here so they can't get out very easy. When you take your queen out of there, you're gonna take a look at her and make sure she's walking around and she's alive. I can see her, she looks good, happy with her. I'm gonna suspend her in this queen cage and put her between frames. Now it's important you get her in there so these holes, the bees could feed her. She's gonna stay in this cage for probably five days. So make sure those holes are accessible so these bees can feed her. I'm gonna suspend her between the two middle frames of this colony. And I usually do mine about a third from the way back. Not directly in the middle, I put her a little bit to the back. And if you notice, I've got a frame feeder in here. People starting a brand new colony, one of the biggest mistakes they do is they don't put feed right next to the bees. You can't use an entrance feeder when it's cold. You can't use a top feeder when it's cold. Those bees are in cluster and hesitant to move and they need to draw comb quickly. So get that feeder right next to them. Now I'm gonna dump my bees in. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump a handful or so bees right on top of this queen cage so they cluster around her. And the rest I'm gonna dump down in this opening where I've removed the four frames from. Honeybees are very hardy as well, so you don't have to be really gentle with them. Just give them a shake in. So here we go on top of her right there, and the rest are gonna go down in here. And as you're shaking them in, you'll get most of them like this. And then you'll end up with well, maybe, there might be a hundred or so in there. You can do this now on the ground, knock them into the corner, do a few more shakes. The other thing you can do when there's some left, you don't have to get them all out. If I set this right here, those bees will eventually leave and go into here. 
So now I've got my bees in there. I've already filled my feeder with one part water, one, sugar, one part sugar syrup. I'm just gonna put these frames back in and close them up. Now my bees down here are kind of clustered, so I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. You notice they didn't wanna sting me. They're perfectly fine where they are. They know they're in a new home. They are not defensive yet. I'm gonna gently put these in. They will move out of the way of these frames. And I don't know if you can see, but these bees are already fanning. They're fanning off a pheromone to say, this is our home here. So I've got my frames all back in. I'm gonna take my inner cover and put it back on. There's bees here a little bit. Sometimes if I don't wanna squish any bees till they go down in, I'll set something like that and put it slightly up. Wait eh, 10, 15 minutes, they'll all go down. I'll come back, I'll take this out and I'll put my telescoping cover over the top. That's it, that's all there is to it. All we have to do over the next five, six days, make sure there's syrup in that syrup feeder. After five days, we're gonna come back, we're gonna let the queen out, fill that syrup holder again, and check them in another 10 days or so to make sure that queen is out laying, and we've got a good start to our new colony.